What's going on everyone? It is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Let's go ahead and discuss Apple's possible plans to implement 3D Touch on iPad Pro using iOS 10. Now I'm sure most of you out there are familiar with 3D Touch. It was first released in the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus and pretty much everyone I know absolutely loves the feature iOS 10 takes it to a whole new level with widgets, clearing all notifications, and much more. And unfortunately, until now, the iPad has been left out of the party. Even the new 9.7 inch iPad Pro still lacked a 3D touch capable display. Every time you try to force touch on an icon or 3D touch on an icon, nothing happens. Well, in iOS 10 beta 2, a small discovery was found. Inside of Notification Center, you can actually use the Apple Pencil to 3D touch on the X's to clear all notifications. That's right, you can actually use the Apple Pencil to replicate 3D touch on the iPad. The Apple Pencil has that pressure sensitive tip so it can let the iPad know when you're pressing soft or hard and essentially be able to completely replicate 3D touch using the Apple Pencil and without any changes to the display. Now to say this is really early on in the implementation is a bit of an understatement. The only place in the system I've been able to find that this works is those X icons inside of Notification Center. You can't use peek and pop, you can't be in messages, you can't 3D touch on icons to pull up widgets, but that is not too far off to say that that's not entirely possible now that Apple's clearly implemented it at least in one spot. It would be kind of silly for Apple to implement this really cool feature and limit it to simply clearing all notifications from Notification Center. So what do you guys think? Is this a sign of things to come? Is this a big benefit to owning an Apple Pencil? Do you think we'll finally see this in the public release of iOS 10 this fall? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Please subscribe to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.